loud is because something is running on the other side of this tarp. I'd love to show it to you, but I got a bunch of shout outs to do. Quit looking over there. SulfurCityDesigns.com for all of your t-shirts, hoodies, stickers. Guys, he's a master. And as always, if you would, take a look at Southern Off-Road Mowers on Facebook and post some junk. Or not. But it'd be nice if you did. Quit looking at the tarp. And the ATLTF.com All-Terrain Lawn Tractor Forum. Uh, go to them if you are looking to do a build. Uh, they have a catalog, a history. Uh, they can really help you with it, and they got some, a lot of good guys who know their stuff. 11, Mr. Ewan. Thank you for subscribing, sir. Stan Osterhout. Thank you for subscribing. Country Man. I like the way you spelled that. Thanks for subscribing, guy. Harold Fushi. Off of Google Plus, thanks for subscribing, or adding me, rather. I really appreciate it, man. Aaron Gaskins. Thanks, man. Jared Clanton. Thanks for subscribing. Brian Pearson. Thank you, sir. Adam Eckenrode. Thanks, man. Dalton Phipps. P-H-I-P-P-S. Thanks, man. And Mike Mayerin. 39 miles an hour on your freaking two-wheel machine. Where the hell am I? We're back. My kerosene heater is about out of uh, kerosene, and it's kind of smoking, so you can see it. It looks like a freaking bar in here. But oddly enough, it makes me feel at home. Come on outside. Here we go. Got it all squared away. Idling nice. It throttles up nice. So it's really good. I'm very pleased with it. You see, it just did that little puff of smoke. When you throttle up on it, it does uh, smoke some, but I mean, that, that's okay. Now, what I am going to do is uh, we're going to roll it back up in there, take a look at that tensioner, and see if we can't get it all squared away. And that's the amount of smoke that it generates. Hang on, I'll do it again. That's about it. So that's squared away. I'm very pleased with it. it. We got off to a bad start, but can't beat it. I am going to uh, move the muffler now, and then we are going to uh, put the gas tank on there. We're going to fab that up. Uh, while I got it down, I'm going to go ahead and put a fuel shut off. We're going to get it wired up, and then we are going to uh, make sure that we get all the little things squared away as far as oh look at that look at the homeless lady who is that lady hey homeless lady already got the mail there it is come closer to the camera there she is yeah, now we're back about to get everything pushed back up inside my god let me zoom back out there we go it idles and runs. It's about out of gas, too. That's not bad at all. Maybe a little bit too low. I'll idle it up. Okay, guys, See you now back we're back. I want to uh, point out a couple of things real quick to you. This thing's cooling down. I'm probably not going to do anything to it on camera uh, for the rest of the evening. So uh, the video is just about over pretty much. But these are the brackets right here where the gas tank sets. And I'll show you what we're going to do. Let me step across the camera. Sorry about that, guys. 
it would normally sit here, but it originally had a um, 12 horsepower flathead. So what we are looking at doing, since this guy is so big, I am going to end up uh, mounting the fuel tank right here and we're going to just extend that angle iron up probably about seven inches on either side uh, maybe not quite seven inches for the side by the starter so I can have access to it to remove it easily when I need to so that is what we're looking at doing I uh, haven't mounted up and if I'm going to have to weld this up I would really like to weld I don't know some kind of shroud across the back of it uh, go ahead and, and, and square that in where I could unbolt it and, and take it off to swap motors but just something to make it I don't know make it a little nicer a little flashier or something like that the motor is a hoss um, did great once I got everything squared away um, turned it off cranked it up turned it off cranked it up it runs great it uh, throttles up nicely, it idles nicely once I got everything squared away on it. Uh, tomorrow we're going to tackle uh, the tensioner and the belt and then we're going to go ahead and get some uh, information to uh, mount that uh, fuel tank because I don't want to really run it like this uh, half-assed. I mean that, that's a fire hazard and an accident waiting to happen. But we're going to get it squared away. It's starting to come together a little bit we're going to get it road worthy is the first phase and then we're going to see whether we're going to do half tracks or full tracks or hell I don't know we may make a helicopter who knows so I have not forgotten, forgotten what we were talking about uh, about uh, getting uh, kudzu squared away and getting him ready to paint so this is what I have been working on getting this oh, got it upside down there we go getting that formed so we are going to put that over it. We've got to trim it out a little bit more and then bolt it down uh, into place just to uh, give it a little finished look. We get everything finished up, bolt it on there, take it back off, paint it, put it back on, and we'll be done. Hopefully the tires should be here by the 20th, the 26-inch okay, tires. Guys, so. More to come. That's about it for today. Um, going inside, we're going to have dinner. Get this video uh, processed and get everything situated. Guys, again, thanks everybody for subscribing and adding me on Google+. Plus. Uh, guys, if you like it, uh, forward it to all the people you hate on Google+. How about that? That's good stuff. Y'all can make some